Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start, you know, thank you for all your ideas, and if you have more ideas, think about it and tell me at the end of the talk. Um, I'm Rocio again. Hello, everyone. Hello. Um, so I'm going to show you what is new since last BodyCam Miami 2015, what's new in BodyPress, and what's coming, okay? So I'm going to do a little bit uh, summary of the last year with BodyPress. In the last year, we had two major releases, like it's body press to 2.3 and 2.4, and eight minor releases. Um, I'm going to tell you, like, the high, you know, I'm going to highlight some of them of the major releases. 2003, we have now <laughs> a mobile-ready mobile, mobile ready interface for uploading profile pictures with drag and drop and you know these all these avatar new uh, functionalities was built on top of the new attachment APA so which is you will if you're not a developer you will say oh, okay I don't know what that means but that means that using the functions that are already there and we use or you know the team use for building this you can do things like this as well you know for your own using the same, you can use as an example this code for doing this for your own project. And you can have your drag and drop for your other pictures and for doing other plugins and etc. So if you're a developer or if you're learning about BodyPress, have a look at how, you know, have been done this and how have been built because it's very interesting and a good example for learning how to use the attachment API. Um, so you can do, you not, you're not only now can just drag and, you know, drag and drop your new files for the avatars, it's for the profile pictures, for the group pictures, cover pictures, and you can, users can even use the camera of their laptops, okay, to, uh, to make a photo and to have um, their own avatar in the community, in the social network, like in, you know, in a second. So it's a very cool one, and it was released last year. Another thing is being is being in 2000 in 2000 yeah in the version 2003 we're we're checking all the version all the new features of 2.3. Um, we released the companion steel sheets for 2015 and 2014. So now in to, in these things the whole things of, War, of WordPress, you can, you know, you can, as John showed you before in the last talk or in the other one, um, you know, all the body press is better integrated on these things, okay, without touching anything. So by default, it's completely, is all the, all the templates are completely integrated on these things. More things, start private messages. So, uh, as you know, that is one of the components that is messages between users, right? And this is why is this is so important or interesting because all applications you can give to this. So right now, before, you, if you had a very big community with a lot of users and um, receiving messages because, you know, depending on the use, you know that you can use the message for the private messages between users for a lot of stuff, now you can just mark it and to say, okay, this is my favorite, or I don't know, or this is about dates, or it's a community about dating or something, you know, they can just favorite and you can build over that new functionalities. Okay, so that's another new thing. It was improved handling of blog media in the activity stream. So now all the media in the activity stream of, every u of the users um, if being is looking better and nicer, and this is something very very interesting with the new functionalities about member types. I'm I'm very very excited about everything related with member members member types, because for a lot of years being a developer I was missing that, and so since uh, 2000 work in San Francisco in 2014 when we were talking about body press and what what we wanted. Um, we made the same questions that I did to you at the beginning of this talk. What would you like to see in BodyPress that is not done yet? Um, my answer was, I need, I want member types because in every project I have been working with, uh, I need member types. 
You know, I, I don't know a single project, you know, with BodyPress that I didn't need different kind of members. So after that, you know, all the team worked uh, hard and great to have member types and now it's growing and developing in new features. And this is one of it. So member types in specific directories is by default, you can, ha you can have just changing the URL that you can see on the top, and you can, s you can have the directory of all the members of one type. So if you have, for example, teachers and students, you will have a URL with the, direct with the list of all the teachers and another URL with the teachers of all the students, which is very, very useful. You know, when you're doing, depending on the user, they can see one or they cannot see, an on the, or they can see another one, or tell me. And it's very useful, indeed. <laughs> um, great, thank you, John. <laughs> More things about the version BodyPress 2.3. New notification meta, add BodyPress menus to the customizers, and a lot more that you can see in the blog of BodyPress.org, okay? So let's have a look at the version 2.4, 2.43, 2. Uh, which is the one, the, the, the current stable one. So new cool things. Now we have avatar upload uh, UE for adding cover photos. For users, for groups built on top of the BodyPress attachment ABA. So again, this is another new functionality thanks to the attachments ABA that was built. And this is another example of how, you know, easy now is to grow with new functionalities, thank you, thanks to the uh, APA. Uh, so now, you know, all the groups, all the members of your social network, they can have their own, you know, cover photos on the, like in Facebook or like in LinkedIn, you know. And it's responsive. This is how it looks in a, in an iPad, if I'm not wrong. And in my mobile phone, it's like the same, but in one column. More things, I love this one. Profile fields, profile fields is specific to your member types. So now you have your member types, you have, like in the example, you have your teachers, you have your students, and why they have to have the same profiles when they're registering in your network. Because teachers maybe need to give you some information and your students saw the other one. And before this, it was hard-coded normally and, you know, doing, uh, you know, some tricks to just uh, doing different registration pages for everyone. So anyway, now it's super easy. You only need to create one, prof uh, you know, profile fields and just to select on member types um, that this field should be available for this one or for both or for everyone. So it's, that was one of, uh, more, uh, for me, it was a very, very interesting and practical feature. So, um, yeah, BodyPress 2.4 was improved for looking great in 2016 for the themes in the WordPress default themes 2016 and 2013 as well. And this is like the two themes by default on how it looks the BodyPress pages by default, the activity one by default in, a, in, a, in those themes. What else? More accessible than ever. So the team have been working really hard on improvements for accessibility in both the dashboard and the front end. So that's a great step and it's been a really hard work. So I would love to say thank you for, to everyone for that. More things. Um, this is a very interesting thing as well. So about if, you, if, you're creating, um, if you're creating a community, depending, depending the kind of group or depending the group, maybe you wanted to, ha to, to have those groups looking different, right? So now you have a really easy way of having different groups or you know, of having your groups looking differently, you know, without having to do, you know, 
difficult stuff. So as you can see there, you have the URL. Oops, no, sorry, not the URL. <laughs> you have the, the root of the, the template of how, you know, the template in your thing that you will have to create to create different kind of groups, okay, looking different, you know, having different templates for each group. So the thing is, by default, BuddyPress will, will look for the first one, then if it doesn't look, if, if it doesn't find, you know, anyone with that structure, any template in your thing with that structure, it will look for the next second one, the third one, and the last one, okay? So the thing is that you can create one template, okay, with different HTML structure, you know, different styles, CSS, etc., and, you know, one for, you know, just um, using the ID of the group and having, you know, different, uh, and having just different templates for each group or just for one group or, or for example, that one that is very interesting is the third one because it's the status. So, for example, if you have with BodyPress, you have private groups, hidden groups, or public groups, you can have the three of them looking different, just having three templates in your theme. That will be from a status hidden, from a status public, or from a status um, private. So it's very useful and it's very easy to use. More things of, the, of BodyPress 2.4. Enable rich text editing for text area profile fields. And a lot more, if you're interested about a lot more uh, functionalities, there were more than 100 improvements in this version. So it's been one of the most productive or, you know, uh, biggest versions, you know, in number of tickets, if I'm not wrong, in the last years of Bunny Press. But I would like to share you a little bit of some things of Bunny Press 2.5, which is now in beta, if I'm not wrong. And you can become a beta tester if you want to try. You only have to go to bodypress.org blog and in the last post, you will get the link to download the beta version. So you can install the beta version in your site to test it and to become a beta tester, which you, you know, IMAP will be very happy and all the team will be very happy to have more beta testers and to report the bugs that you find, if you find them. And so it will be released in March 2nd of this year, so just in a little bit. Um, as John showed you before, you were going to have, you know, in the new version, you will see the new BodyPress email API, which is, if you have been working with BodyPress in the last years, that's something that, you know, in the past we used to use Welcome Pack, there was a plugin, but it's true that after the years, now the, the new version of the email API is like, super easy to use, super fast, and super, you know, you can customize it as his show, and so it's very, very, very cool to try. Um, so what else? So the thing is that you can customize every single email for your users since the, from the dashboard. That's the idea. And you can, you can use it already. Just install 2.5. If you don't want to use the beta, you can just wait until March 6th and you can use the, and you can use, and you can download it from the repository. More things in 2.5, tracking comments about a post type. So if you're using, for example, applying of events, I don't know, events manager, for example, because I'm using this example because it has integ integration with BodyPress. So if you're using mm, events manager, and your users, with that plugin, your users can create their own events from the front end. They can publish them on public or, you know, just for a group, for example, and people just can say, I'm going, I'm not going, you know, the event have information, etc. So the thing is that tracking comments about a post type, you could say, okay, I'm going to do tracking, I'm going to track all the comments about the events, okay? And users can use an information to check that information and about only a specific events if they want to follow that information. So you can define that um, to an existing post type or during the post type in registration if you're creating your own post types. So 
if there is an article in bodypress.org in the codex with the functions that you will have to add to your functions PHP in case you're creating your own post type and you want to add these tracking comments, okay? More things. So 2.5 comes with 2012 uh, improvements, you know, for this, uh, uh, for the all the templates integration with the theme of so BodyPress looks great in 2012. Uh, emoji support, <laughs> in activity updates, private messages, and group descriptions, which your users will be happy with it. And this is something that is very interesting um, because I working working for clients. I, ha I had this issue several times, and it was like before BodyPress used to, when it was showing you, for example, a list of, uh, when, I was, when you were checking the profile of a user, and for example, you have profile fields for, for example, I don't know, male, female, okay, gender. So you could, you could click on the, of the selected value that the, of that user, for example, is a male, and you could click and to see the directories of all the males, okay? Which is very useful, but depending the, the, the project is not so, so much, and you even don't want to show that to the users. So now there is an option, okay? And you can enable or disable that search, those words, phrases to be linked you know, to member directory searches, okay? And there is a lot, tons of under the hood performance and improvements. And body, body press is faster than ever. And some future releases that I'm very excited about it. So group types APA to add profile fields, profile field groups, and to make grow and to make the groups even more um, how to say, you know, to be able to create more staff with the component of groups, okay? So the team is working about that. But it press raised APA, so John was talking a lot about that, and if you're interested about that, don't forget that every Wednesday at 22 UTC, there is a dev chat about the REST APA. So if you're interested and you only have to say hello and to read what they're, you know, what's going on and to offer help or whatever, go there to the BodyPress Slack channel. New Invitations API, Yoo I'm excited about this one. So with these new features that, the, you know, we still don't know when it will be released, but, you know, uh, if I'm not wrong, Paul Jeeves is working on this or it was... Okay, okay. Okay, so the thing is that with the new invitations API, it will be a functionality for the users to be able to send invitations and staff to other users, to externals, if I'm, et cetera, and it can be very, very interesting. And with a lot of, you know, having an API for this kind of functionality, it can be very versatile, so, you know, Use your imagination. And this is a dream of, I think, of all the team, and especially for me too, and is, have, and is to have BodyPress relationship, a BodyPress relationship table and APA. So if you know, or if you know the, the plugin post to post, the plugin post to post is a plugin to create relationships between content, with, which is post, uh, custom post types, and users, so you can create relationships uh, um, with your con uh, you can create relationships with your content in general and with your users. These connections can be like, for example, user user. So imagine if we get connections like this easily, or we can create them easily. You could get, for example, you could create, for example, uh, social networks where users can say, okay this member is my sister, and that member is my teacher, or that member is my colleague, uh, and etc. And the same with some kind of custom types, and depending, you know. So that's a dream for me, but in the meanwhile, 
if you're interested about it, I have worked when I had this um, need for projects. Well, I have used so far, it's been the plugin post to pods and it's very, uh, very interesting and very useful. It has a Wikipedia full of documentation and it has an API and it's a very cool plugin. So the team, if I'm not wrong, it was Paul Gibbs, the one that, the one that was investigating, researching a little bit about that plugin to be able to see if it could be possible to integrate some of the, you know, at least the main or the basic functionalities of that plugin into BuddyPress to be able to create these relationships. So that's it. And if you contribute to BuddyPress, you know, you will become a hero, a BuddyPress hero. So I would encourage you, all of you, to contribute a little bit to BuddyPress and to join, you, you know, to join the family. Everybody's welcome. So thank you to all the contributors of BuddyPress, please. <laughs> and thank you. Any questions? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> I think he can answer you better that question. <laughs> yeah. Come here. Hi. Uh, hi, live stream. Hi. You can put it. Oh, I um, so no, no, don't sit down. Um, so the question for the live stream is the. Uh, Ability for groups specifically to, for their com for their fields. Oh, not exactly. I don't. Not exactly. The 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 two things that are in are. Uh, added support for custom post types in the activity stream. So if you have a bunch of custom post types registered, then we'll do a little bit better looking into what the labels are for the post types, up to and including like custom BuddyPress specific strings for what that ends up looking like in the activity stream. We do two things. We, uh, we I don't know if we really do much of it anymore. We, we store a, like a plain English copy in the database, but we also compile like with hooks and filters, like a real time display of some of that. So that's part of that one. The other part is. But I think I was talking about the, the, the private messages and you're talking about comments, right? We don't have, yeah, nothing, nothing with comments. No. Not WordPress it was, comments. It was with private mess messages. Private messages has stars and then. Um, We've talked about some other additions for that. Yeah, but not with comments. Not with comments. For the record, there is no custom comment type API in WordPress. You have to roll your own. If someone wants to build that, that would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? Then, but, but what is your, what is your, the question? Yeah, right? uh, what you're saying is that more like uh, if the uh, members clear like badges and you know, when they reach some stuff, they understand the other messages that are going to be affected. They use the proof of that because mm. uh, that, that's all they do. Yeah, but uh, I, a, a life for the people. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know if that is, there are, plan John, do you know if there? Uh, Mm. 
the other one. Something else? No? So thank you very much. Yeah.